So we're not going to use none of these. We're just going to use this part. Cut a piece of it, enough for the CPU, put it in there in place, and set it up because this thing is necessary needed, man. My machine is getting overheated. Uh, it is in an open environment right now, but I still need to turn it off once in a while and it, it overheats. So we're going to replace a couple of things on it and we're also going to add this very crucial um, component so it could keep it cool because I, I have a feeling that the uh, thermal grease that I currently have is a little dry. So we're going to set this up. All right. So this is my machine right now. We're going to do a thorough cleanup first and we do have a 4090 in here fully loaded with uh, memory so thermal paste is dry it's telling me it's overheating all right a lot um some of it's a little dry some of it's a little wet in some areas so we're gonna cover that up we're gonna make sure we put thermal tape so we don't have to worry about overheating or dryness of it there we go it's not getting it wet too much Conducting the copper conducting. I have measuring tape, but we're gonna see how much I need to cut on this one. Let's try it out. So pretending this is our tape, thermal tape is gonna go in here, covering as much as we can um, the area. So I always practice with something before you actually start cutting it, all right? Because you don't want to touch the thermal tape too and leave your fingerprints off. We are gonna chop off a little bit on the top. All right, we got our our tape ready to go so i'm ready to release it so we're going to open it up and put one side first and then we're going to put the other side so if you guys can see it there's one side we are going to use a little spatula that I came with too so just make sure that it is. now that we complete it all we got to do is put this back bad boy back we got the thermal tape in there make sure that this is fixed push pressure down and then put in um, sideways first two sides side by side on this corner and this corner all right so it could grab onto it make sure you have your screws really close by all right overall make sure you keep this in a shaded area you don't want it to get dry because it has to be some sort of moisture in here right so uh, you don't want these to fail keep them away from the any kind of um, sun and you can always reuse these. Um, I'd not recommend the reusing the actual thermal tape. Just, you know, cut a new piece and you're set to go. So very handy, easy to use. I hope you guys enjoy the video.